Hey there, welcome to Doll Motion, the channel where we turn old dolls into new characters and use for a stop motion animated series. In this video, we're going to make younger versions of Fulpini, Alex, and Felicia Fox. Also, this will be a version of Fulpini before she became a Diffus. I will be needing these younger versions of the Fox siblings for important Divis flashback episodes. So, let's begin and make younger versions of Fulpini, Alex and Felicia Fox. The hint from my previous repaint video was, um, well, the Fox siblings. Sadly, this video won't have a hint, but I do have a riddle for you at the end of this video. So stay tuned! For this project I'll be using these 25, 21 and 11 cm Obitsu bodies. For Pini's body comes with a few extra hands. And I will be using this Liga friend hat, which I already prepped. For Lisha's body We'll get this doll head I got from AliExpress. Also, her body will get a few extra hands, which you can buy separately. Alex's body will be this female Obitsu body. Yeah, the webshop I ordered them from ran out out of boy Obitsu bodies. So I will be needing to alter his body. But first, let's see, for his head I will be using this Lika Prince boyfriend head. Hmm, his hair is almost the same hair color, but I want a different style, so it has to go. I cut his hair as close to his head as possible. Then I go through the neck opening with tweezers and remove the remaining hairs. I use pure acetone to remove the factory painted faces. And of course, the huge. By the way, I don't save the ears, but maybe I should do that in 2020? Oh, that's so creepy. The Obitsu bodies come with a lot of doll hands. And just like all the red foxes in my Divas universe, they need to be black. For this I'll be using Red Dye more. Sadly, the dye will make it more of a dark grey. But the joints will be black. And that's the most important part. And here we go, black, well, dark grey hands and feet. Like I already mentioned, Alex's Obitsu body needs to, well, how I put this subtle, needs to change gender. For this I'll be using my Dremel and a sanding block. Yeah, that looks pretty good. The Obitsu bodies will also be needing a hole in the lower back for their future tails. And Felicia's body will get an extra hole to hold the stand. Great, the heads are all prepped and ready to get some fox ears. For this I'll be using my trusty epoxy sculpt. Overall, Fulpino will get the largest ears out of the siblings because she inherited her mother's big Fennec fox ears. When the ears are all dry, I trace them on the head and take them off. I mark them left and right and paint them an orange color. Switching back to the heads. So you don't really match the body tones. To solve this, I use pastel powders and a brush. And I seal it in with Mr. Soupy Clear. Great! Just like the original versions of the Fox siblings, they will get a gradient on their arms and legs with pastel powders. Then 
the many many hands are marked black with a permanent marker and stored in this box for future animation scenes. Time for some fur! I always choose between these two colors of orange. The darker one for older characters like James and the brighter one for younger characters like Felicia. We're making younger characters, so we're going with the bright colored yarn. Brush out the yarn and make webs out of them by gluing them on a freezer bag. The armatures for the tails are made out of different kinds of wire and bandage tape. To make the fox tails, I start on a white tip and continue gluing on the webs with a hot glue gun. Untangle the tail by combing it with a pet brush. To glue in the fox tails into the Obitsu bodies, I use super glue on the pre made holes. The ears also need some fur. Using fabric glue, I became with white fur in the middle. Continuing with orange fur. Some trimming. Volpini's ears are a bit different, they are fully flocked. I'm not sure why, but for some reason I decided to give Fennec Fox's flocked ears. I can't wait to make the mother one day. The fox siblings need their champagne blonde hair. Yes, even Volpini. I measure the length of the hair to the doll's head and start plugging in the hairs with my rerouting too. And then it's all Netflix time for me. To secure all that hair, I use a universal glue and a Q-tip to get the glue on every plug. Wait a full day for the glue to dry. And now we can boil wash the hair to set it in place. Let the hair air dry again for one day. Now I'm going to give the fox siblings an ink gradient. It's something I started doing with Alex and it is a great transition from fox ears to human hair. Speaking of fox ears, they can be attached to the head with super glue. We can almost start with the face ups, but not before we give them small cute teeth. Aww, so cute! Well, let's jump right in and start sketching in the faces with a watercolor pencil. I'm keeping the original characters next to them, so I have a reference. I had plans to make the pre-versions of the fox siblings for about a year. So I'm very happy I'm finally able to make them. It's also nice to see a pre-version of Volpini. Now you can see she used to look a lot like her siblings. Let's color in the eyes with paint. Okay, let's answer a few questions of the day. Do you draw Divas characters in advance or do you make the design up as you go? Although I try to draw out designs for my characters, I usually make a doll without a physical design. <laughs> the design in my head is pretty strong and about 90% of the time I succeed in making the doll I had in mind. How did you make the sounds of your mascots in the intro of your videos? Is this your voice? Yes. The is also my voice but pitched. If a company you trust approaches you about making Divas recreation dolls, would you do it? Um, well, it depends on the quality of the dolls. Uh, although in this scenario I trust the company, so I would probably say yes. And that was it for the questions of the day. Thank you. And if you have a question of the day, please leave it in the comment section. 
so I can answer it in a future repaint video. Back to the face-up! To seal in the face-up, I sprayed the doll's head a few times with Mr. Superclear. Ok, outfit time! Yeah, I need to make three whole outfits, so I'm getting some help from these Japanese doll pattern books. Looking through my fabric basket, I found this Pikachu fabric and some more matching colors. Starting with Felicia, I made her in teeny tiny jeans. And a sweater with of course a star on it. And I painted these pink shoes into fitting sneakers. Felicia got a short haircut. Short enough so people can confuse her for a boy. Alex's outfit is getting some help from the Credible World doll line. These clothes don't really fit, but by altering them a bit, we do get a great looking jeans. I made some long socks. Gave him some band-aids on his knees. Red shoes. A Pikachu shirt I made. And a red jacket. And here we have Alex's look. Well, almost. We still need to hide the human ear marks with orange flock. Here we go. And the last one of the siblings, for Beanie, is getting a haircut and a cute school uniform inspired outfit. And with this the dolls are done. Well, that's one large fox family, alright. It was really fun to make younger versions of existing characters. And I would love to do this for more characters. If you would like to see the flashback episodes, you should really check out the DV Series YouTube channel. Here you can find out why Fulpini became a Divis. And why beloved Uncle James became a villain over time. A link is at the end of the video. And oh, before I forget, here's the riddle for the next repaint video. In the American West, where stars unfurl, a creature appears, a mystical swirl, with antlers like branches, hopping and free. What is this beast? Can you name me? I would love to read your answers in the comment section. And let's see if you are right with the next repaint video. Before I go, I would like to thank my lovely supporters, 
Kenamaru and everyone else on Patreon and YouTube memberships. Thank you so much. And thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you in two weeks with a new repaint video. Bye!